Well, you know, that it's interesting because we, uh, of course, over on our businesses, we use the phone, the phone quite a bit. But mm -hmm. even I have to admit, the phone has changed. Now, in some ways, it's better than it was years ago. And mm -hmm. where you have that connection and you're going to pick up the phone and, and talk directly to them. For prospecting, it's still effective, but it has changed. What do you see as far as, you know, the old time, you know, where you make 100 calls, you get three leads, and one of them turns into a, to a job order? Uh, or, or whatever the, the dynamics for whoever's mm -hmm. company that is. How do you see the phone playing right now? And how do you see the different technology working with those phone calls? What, you know. Well, I've never believed in telling somebody to make 50 phone calls. I think that's the wrong advice. I love when managers are upset with somebody and they go make more calls. Well, if the person's made 20 calls and they got no results, if they make 50 more of the same calls, it's not the number of calls, it's what they're saying. And so for me, you've got to know what results do you need every day? If I have to do three interviews a day, how many candidates do I have to talk to to book three interviews a day? So I'm going to make as many calls as I have to make to book the three interviews. But what you're facing now is no one is answering their phones. They're all hiding behind technology. LinkedIn is very worried. I do training for LinkedIn Learning. And so I'm, on, I'm in an insider group with LinkedIn. And they're worried that the in-mails are not being opened anymore because they, people don't like unsolicited templated in-mails where they know somebody's sending it to 50 people. They don't like to be pitched a job. You know, they want you to talk about what is their next career move. So I think we have to change the voicemails we leave. Most voicemails that recruiters leave is, hi, I have a job, I saw your LinkedIn profile, I think you're perfect, call me back. So in essence, I'm a salesperson, I wanna to sell to you, call me back. Okay. And they get all upset when they have 2% callbacks. So I'm teaching a much different voicemail to leave. Um, I'm teaching much different in-mails to send. They've got to be personalized. And the voicemail I use, and, and I'll give it to you, I, it's like, hi, my name is Barb Bruno. Someone suggested we talk. Do me a favor, Wilson. When you call me back, tell whoever answers the line to interrupt me, no matter what I'm doing, because I don't want to miss your call. I'm really looking forward to our conversation. Again, it's Barb Bruno. I give my number again. You have a great day. Thanks. That was very good. Yeah, they return that because number one, you said someone suggested we talk and they almost always never ask what, who said suggested, but if they do, I'll say, I'm always asking people who was the best engineer from your last place of employment or if somebody gave their name, I'll use the name. Um, when I say to interrupt me, no matter what I'm doing, you make the person feel important. They're curious and so they call you back. So that, I've, I've taught that to hundreds of recruiters and it has roughly a 65% callback where the email, the voicemail I said at the beginning, selling a job has 2%. Uh, I mean, that, that, I mean, and I find it interesting because I, I agree with you 100%. You, you, in essence, instead of it being all about you, it becomes all about them yes. to where it, it elevates their, their status and, and stature. Mm -hmm. So that, that's neat.